Do you suffer from migraines? Some people, no, uh, for some people rather, no amount of medication seems to ease the pain, but some doctors say you may be tr uh, that, that maybe you should try playing a video game or learning English. <laughs> Not just any video game, but something called neurofeedback. Medical reporter Kathy Fowler joins us with this story. Kathy? Well, Maureen, studies have shown that it's extremely affected. Some doctors say in some cases, 85 to 90 percent of the patients with chronic headaches respond positively to neurofeedback. One local woman says it's practically cured her migraines. <laughs> Lynn Hertel plays beautifully today, but two years ago she was lucky if she could hit one right note. This Alexandria flute teacher says her debilitating migraines made it almost impossible to play music. On many days she couldn't even get out of bed. I didn't really have a life. I really just survived between migraines. After countless treatments, Hertel came to Deborah Stokes, a neurofeedback practitioner who introduced her to a form of mind control. And it's sort of an exercise model for the brain. Um, it's like weightlifting, like weight training. I mean, I go to the gym, I lift weights, but I don't look a lot different, but I feel better. Neurofeedback involves mapping the brain to read its electrical frequencies, allowing experts to see which places in the brain are working too hard or not hard enough. Special sensors that can read brain waves are attached to a patient's head, converting the waves into a video game on a special computer. The patient then plays the game not with their hands, but with their mind. The brain just needs to be shown um, by these games or a mirroring back of the brainwave frequencies how to behave. Experts don't know exactly why neurofeedback works, but her towel says she doesn't need to know because since neurofeedback, her migraines are practically non existent. Neurofeedback is also used to treat ADHD and depression. Some professional athletes even use it to help them focus and perform better during games. Deborah Stokes says anyone considering neurofeedback should just make sure that they go to someone who is certified. For more information on this, you can log on to our website at WJLA.com. Kathy Fowler, ABC7 News.